My friends, I swear to you, this is the weirdest product I've ever gotten an email for. This is the Zephyr Gaming Mouse, which on the surface doesn't look too bad. Obviously, this just looks like a normal lightweight gaming mouse with RGB. As you can see, it has all of the holes drilled out and everything. But what if I told you this has a fan on the inside? And not just a fan, an RGB fan to make you play. I mean, your, your KDA has to go up at least 300% with this. So the idea obviously is that it has all of these holes to allow your hand to breathe and then it blows the air through so that in case your hand sweats, you get the ability to cool down your hand. Is this a common problem that you guys have? I don't have this at all. I, I've never once thought about my hand after hours long of gaming, it's always been fine. But if this is a problem for you, then Zephyr has the mouse for you. Currently, this is on Kickstarter right now. They sent us one of their pre-release samples. This one's actually 3D printed and not necessarily the fabrication that they're gonna be doing as the end result. But as of launching their Kickstarter only an hour and 15 minutes ago, they're like 75% of their way to their goal. So. I'm not gonna necessarily tell you whether or not you should buy this because obviously Kickstarter campaigns have a long history of not actually fulfilling themselves, but I did wanna check out the mouse and talk to you about it here because this is such an intriguing thing. I have never seen this before, but in doing research on this mouse and trying to find out has there been a mouse with a fan before, there has. It is the Thermaltake Black Element Cyclone, which did not have a fan on the inside like the Zephyr does, as you can see right there. Rather, it had a fan that you attached to a port on the outside of the mouse. One of the weirdest things I've seen. I wasn't able to find one on eBay or Amazon or anywhere, but if you have one, maybe consider uh, sending me an email. I'd love to actually check it out, or you can send it to our PO Box, PO Box 5697, Gainesville, Florida, 32627. I would love to actually take a look at one of those. But regardless, this one is obviously a bit sleeker than that thermal take design. Just taking a look at the overall construction, it feels very sturdy. Their production weight that they're quoting is supposed to be 68 grams. Let me get my scale. This one's coming in, oh, at a hefty 85 grams. So that's a little bit heavier than they're quoting. It's still obviously not a heavy mouse. Feels pretty lightweight. It feels okay in the hands. It does have this front lip right up here, which my fingers are like over reaching onto, but that's just because I have sausages for fingers. They're, they're massive digits. I don't know if you've noticed that, but I got banana hands. So RGB automatically looks pretty good. I can feel the fan for sure. You can kind of hear it. And it has its own dedicated RGB. That is, that is neat. That's, the RGB looks good. It's pretty satisfying as far as visuals. Uh, they did say in their email to me as they're launching the Kickstarter that the fan is actually currently only 60 to 70% power and you can't configure it, but they'll add a 100% power level in the future. Also, uh, they did say that the DPI settings aren't quite right and they'll be adding a 400 DPI level in the future. They'll be fixing the weight because this is 3D printed. It's a bit too heavy with the actual fabrication. It should be lighter. And then they're also planning on adding an off feature for the RGB because that currently doesn't exist. But I actually think this looks pretty stunning. As I'm just holding it right here, you can definitely feel some vibration towards the back of the mouse but as it's on the table, yeah, you don't really feel that. Reese, do you wanna come try this out? If you're holding still and not moving, you can feel the fan vibrating. Your turn. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Yeah, it's it's gorgeous. Feels good, feels good. Uh, yeah, if you pick it up, you can definitely... Okay, but put it down and just hold still. Gone. Zero up. Do you not have sensitive hands? Do um, you get sweaty hands when you're gaming? Uh, when I'm clutching a like 1v5 moment, sure. Okay, but that's like your whole body response, not necessarily yeah. your hand that's sweating. That's nice. It's neat. I like the fan. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely noisy. Now, because our dishwasher's running, so I think that was masking the sound. But as we're sitting here, yeah. That's quite noisy. You're going to notice that that's on. Not if you crank up the music. If you have headphones on, you'll be fine. Yeah, headphones, gone. If you're in like an actual gaming scenario, there's no way that this is like gonna overpower the moments that you're hearing in game with footsteps, but yeah, you can totally feel this vibrating. The, the moment you lift it up off the table, you can feel it. It's blowing like a decent yeah. amount. 
I don't know why you sniffed it. I was just trying to blow oh, your face. I, I, I thought you were like, no, I'm still sniffing it. This is odd. It has the Pixar 3389 sensor. It has Omron switches, which are rated for 50 million uh, setups. They are saying that the fan is super quiet and moderately quiet, especially at the distance where you're gonna be using it. And especially if you wear headphones, you should be fine. If you like a completely silent gaming experience, this is definitely going to ruin it, but it's also not necessarily louder than a case fan at the distance that you're gonna use it. The fan is angled at 45 degrees. Also, supposedly the retail production sample. Oh, I got a letter. Hey, hi Brett, thanks for your huge support. This is our functional prototype, not the final version. If anything needs to be ungraded, please feel free to provide us any suggestions. We'll make a appropriate adjustments and optimization and bring a better Zephyr to our backers. We'll launch on Kickstarter today uh, at 8 a.m. and shipment starts from October. Please stay tuned, love the Zephyr team. I actually, I think this is neat. Uh, it is definitely not for me. I do not have a sweaty hands problem when it comes to gaming, but when they sent me the email, I thought it was such an odd design that I had to check it out. And honestly, Taking a look at it, if you didn't tell me that there was a fan in here, I wouldn't have known. But the fact that there is an RGB fan in here is just like an added level of cool. And then also the fact that the weight is supposed to be down to where some more of the lighter mouses are. Like Catlin just got the HK Gaming Bumblebee and that's 63 grams. If this is supposed to be 68 grams with also a cooling fan, that's pretty phenomenal. Again, this is a Kickstarter, so take that with a grain of salt. If you go over to their Kickstarter right now, you can see that the super early bird price is $79, which isn't terrible for a gaming mouse. Their regular early bird price is supposed to be $90, and then their Kickstarter price is supposed to be $100. So who knows what the actual retail amount is gonna be if this actually even comes out to retail if the Kickstarter is successful enough. Based on the response within the first hour, they're at $5,000 of their $6,450 goal. Uh, they likely will get enough funding, but whether or not they're gonna be able to bring this out to production is odd, or is in question rather, just because that's how things work. But using the mouse feels fine. There's the, I think this is the DPI switch. Yeah, that's that's definitely the DPI switch. Holy crap. Uh, forward and back button. Is that a DPI indicator? Yes. Okay, so there's RGB lights on the side that indicates the DPI. It's got non, or it's got slidey feet at the bottom. Oh, the RGB indications on both sides. Uh, I, yeah, I guess I would say this is an ambidextrous mouse. Fits both sides. I don't necessarily like the lip that's at the front, but Zephyr's done something pretty cool. I The Pixart sensor is pretty good from everything that I was reading. The 3389's one of the better ones that's out there. The fact that they're using Amaran switches. The mouse performs pretty well at gaming. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I, I, I still don't like that lip, but as far as gaming, I, it responds as well as I need it to. Um, I'm not seeing any sort of extra acceleration going on. Uh, I'm not a mouse reviewer, but my hand is relatively cool, which is you gotta, you gotta keep your safety off and you gotta keep your clutch up in moments like this. And you can only do that if you're not holding on to sweat. What I'm hearing is that you just need to crank the AC till it's like really hot to swing it. Oh, I died. I definitely feel the air like blowing on me as I'm playing. It's noticeable, which might be distracting for some people. That's why I died. Chris, can you uh, frisbee me a couple cookies? Dojis. No, Reese. <laughs> that was the floor. That's a floor cookie. There's a milk cookie. Thank you. <clears throat> As I'm just holding my hand here while waiting to respawn, I can definitely feel the vibrations. Like, I think it depends on the surface that you're on as well, because the tabletop that I was using to film the regular video, there wasn't as much reverberation. But here, with no mouse pad, I can absolutely feel it. It definitely feels like they decided to make a nice, quality mouse and then added a fan into it as opposed to making a gimmick and then being like, let's try to cheap out everywhere we can. This is a solid overall design. I like what Zephyr's done here. I'll leave a link in the video description for everything. Again, uh, big thanks to them for sending it over before it's even produced. And uh, I, I, if you have one of the Thermaltake Black Element Cyclones, please, 
hit me up. I would love to check one of those weird mice out. I also did in my research find a mouse bungee that had a fan on it, but that seems less useful to me because the mouse bungee wouldn't be directly near where my hand is. So why would you do that? I don't know. Guys, let me know what you think of the Zephyr down below. What do you think of the fact that it has, oh, I'm just getting the name Zephyr fan. I'm, I'm slow on the uptake here. I just, I just figured this out. So I like it. Let me know what you guys think of it. Do you need something like this to cool your hand down? Do you have that problem? Let me know down below in the comments. Are you gonna actually consider picking one up? Don't forget to let me know that down there as well. Big thanks to you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out our other channel, UFD Tech, where we cover tech news here on Brainus. We cover all of the products and the fun stuff that I wanna do, because these are brain thoughts, anus, brainus thoughts. These are brainless videos. Get, hit the like button, get subscribed. See you, bye, later.